Good evening, it's Facebook Love, number 125. There are cats in the hallway playing reindeer games, which means they make a lot of noise. So if you hear that, don't be alarmed. They just want me to come out and uh, feed them the second half of their dinner. Uh, as the weekend begins, I have a couple pieces to read to you from a book which I've used a bit uh, during this phase. It's a collection called Here, Poems for the Planet, um, which has a foreword written by the Dalai Lama and is basically a, a long, big manual about the world, about activism in the environment, um, and love songs for the environment. <clears throat> so I have a couple of those today. This first one, I'm actually not sure how to say the first name, J-A-A-N, it might be John and it might be Jan, but the poet's name is John or Jan Kaplinski. And this, the poem is translated from Estonian titled, From Childhood On. From childhood on, I have scribbled on paper, bowie knives, pistols, men's faces. Now, one afternoon, I suddenly noticed I had begun to draw cats, dogs, horses, and birds. Although clumsily and with anatomical faults, but if I continue, they will perhaps improve, become more real, more alive, and who knows, perhaps even sometime move, even stretch themselves or lift their wings from grayish paper, from between poems and lecture notes, as once long ago, a yellow crane drawn by a student on a tea house wall. From Childhood On by Jan Kaplinski. That makes me think about the nature of creativity a bit. Um, the idea of, of creation, the process of making things is different from consuming artistic things, paintings, sculpture, movies, TV shows, watching a comedian, watching a dance, listening to music. The, the act of making it is different. It's a different preoccupation than consuming it. Um, and sometimes I think that I have been more concerned in the earlier part of my life with the finished product than I was with the making of things, especially in music. And yet in writing, I stay focused on the making. That poem made me think about that. This second one is a bit longer. It is called, The Seeds Talk Back to Monsanto by Brenda Hillman. And there was heard mourning in the syntax. There was heard brightness in the being of the land, and there was heard don't. There was heard no. The mountains rise in their noon of proud fevers. The dedicated grasses wait. In valleys where basalt meets granite and grains meet valleys of loam, winds help the free seeds of grasses, rabbit foot and foxtail. They help quaking grass, the foreign stately rye grass, lolium, perenne, and even the ripgut brome. Combs of fescue sway as in psalms, syllables and glooms, lemma, pedicel, twigs and twains, bespuddled musings, ye oddlings not forced. Engineered seeds on faraway farms, hear of the free seed movement. 
They want no part of genetic use restriction technologies turning farmers into serfs. And there was heard mourning in the syntax. There was lightness in the senses of the land. The seeds talk back to Monsanto. They talk back to AstraZeneca and Novartis. They know their root said turned into sit and they refuse to grow. They fold their spikelets inside and sit like Thoreau in a don't sprout for Monsanto. Sit with the don't, D-O-N-T, don't, don't sprout. Sisters, fold ons and bracts to add power when putting your handwriting on. Eco-terrorist seeds won't sprout for Monsanto. They want no other weather than inside, but they can negotiate through poetry, something like one, would you like to try one of our delicious word seeds or two? Stalled were it not for magic, we're trying to decide what to do. The Seeds Talk Back to Monsanto by Brenda Hillman. That's also about creation. I had another thought today that's not really about creation, but it's rooted in, in creation. Um, many of my friends think that religion is terrible. They think that uh, faith practice manipulates people and makes them follow fear instead of joy, instead of practicing love. And that may be so sometimes. And I was thinking about the idea of creating art and that our art comes from our sense of where we are, our place, our culture. You, you create from a home. And religion, even when you don't want to practice the belief part of a faith practice, even if you aren't interested in the rule-making or the, the following of teachings, there's still a deep history of culture behind all the major faiths and what I found myself pondering was the Psalms. They're songs. They are songs from mostly David, not all, mostly, and he started out a humble, if I've got this right, he was a shepherd. Shepherds are outcasts. They're dirty. They don't get to be with people. Um, and he became a great king who had a lot of flaws. And while he wrote the Psalms, he was very human. Flawed, reaching, worried, frightened, angry, vengeful, begging forgiveness, wronged, deeply sorry. They're beautiful teachings. So, I was thinking about that today. Facebook love number 125. I'll probably be back Sunday or Monday. See you again.